But we begin with the Delta variant and new concern that Michigan may be headed into the red zone when it comes to the spread of COVID cases. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Alan Campbell. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. According to the CDC, Michigan is now categorized as having a substantial level of COVID transmission. The rise in COVID cases has elevated most of America into the red, which indicates a high level of community transmission. And when we zero in on Michigan, you can see most of the counties in southeast Michigan are orange, which the CDC categorizes as having that substantial risk. And what doctors and public health officials are reporting across the country is that most of the people being admitted to the hospital are those who are not vaccinated. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has been talking to Michigan's chief medical executive and a Beaumont physician in charge of a COVID unit about the spread, the variant and the unvaccinated. Here's what she had to say. If we're seeing this increase in COVID cases now, we wanted to find out what we could expect coming our way in the fall. It will never be over. I don't think we're ever going to be done with this. We know for a fact, once you get into the colder months, this thing tends to spread more. We've got a more contagious variant. So I think that's the cause for the alarm that we're seeing right now across the medical community. And according to the latest data from the CDC, community transmission of the virus across the country is high in most states. And while Michigan is not in the red zone, the number of cases has caused the CDC to elevate the community spread here to substantial. And in most of Southeast Michigan, the transmission is also listed the same. Michigan's chief medical executive, Dr. Joan A. Caldoun, says they've been watching trends and so they're not surprised. Of those samples that we sequenced in the past month, about 90% of them have come back as being the Delta variant. So I think that is certainly uh, part of it. We still don't have enough people vaccinated, and that's what's driving surges all across the country. I actually stopped wearing my mask so much inside. I'm vaccinated and I'm back to wearing my mask. My kids are back in to mask out inside, not so much outside, but it's scary. If things continue on this trend, it's actually pretty alarming. Dr. Justin Skrinsky runs a COVID unit at Beaumont Royal Oak, and he says most of the patients they're seeing are unvaccinated. We're really not too optimistic about how things are going to look in the fall unless a couple things change, and the key thing is vaccines. I think we just need to keep up with the masks and keep up with social distancing and you know, get boosters if they're available, hopefully, and just be smart about it. And public health and medical experts say that means getting vaccinated. I know there are some people who uh, perhaps will, will never get the vaccine, but what I'm optimistic about is the fact that over the past couple of weeks, actually across the entire country, we've actually seen a slight increase in the rate of people getting vaccinated. Here in the hospital, there's no patient that I have who can legitimately look me in the eye and say that the disease is better than any potential or imaginary risk that the vaccines might have. I truthfully think everyone needs to be super careful. We can't pretend that it's not happening. And according to Dr. Caldoun, there are no plans to reinstate any sort of statewide mask mandate. In Farmington, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Yeah, we definitely have to be precautious. Kimberly, thank you. And for a county by county look at case rates and where the Delta variant has been reported, go to our website, WXYZ.com.